Day 13. I would like my cat to get out of my way. Clear and sunny. Hi, Gunther. Which one is talking in person for all the wonderful art? Thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I just received a letter from the office of the regional secretary of artifacts. We've been honored with the coveted golden shovel award for our significant contributions to the field. It's all thanks to you. Yay! Go me! It's a promising news. The regional secretary of artifacts gave the museum a considerable large donation. You'll be <laughs> you'll be receiving a portion of it in the mail soon. Go me! Can I get the key to the underground? We'll be seeing more of each other soon. Good day. Can I get the key? To the thing. <coughs> so I need five. Five golds is what I need. I, I take it we got five golds there. Good. Now, if you want books, Frozen, you should go talk to Eden. Eden's the person to talk to about books. Pomegranate! Good, good. Let everything just show its face here. We'll get it all. That's good. What is this cutscene? Okay. Don't don't do that. That's sad. Okay, so Sophia's at six hearts. How many we got left? Seventy nine? Okay. I have to wait a little while. So, Rosen, everything's just all going to how you need it to right now? As soon as we get this place, I mean, everything will be better. We're just kind of, like, waiting at the moment to get things done. We need to get this house, which means we need to go see the house. We have a place here in the town we live in currently, but... We went and saw it, and it looks like the place might not have the internet we need, even though it says on Spectrum's website that it can get it. It doesn't look like the house is set up for it. So we're looking for, like, all these individual, like, prerequisites before we even get started on, like, hey, here's the money for a house. I need to go see Marnie now. I believe Marnie has the next thing I need.
Hi, Marnie. How how are you? Oh, Cape here. Okay, never mind. I was like, why am I getting an event a cutscene? I almost went to eat my soul. Well, I've eaten them before. I don't know why it's so weird. Marnie, it's not that weird. Marnie's like, oh, I I would eat that maybe, but probably not. That seems really strange. Oh, hi, old flame. Subscribing for 28 months, my god. Over two years. How are you, old flame? Yeah, we're hoping to get that, uh, that house, but, like, the one we saw here in the town we live in, uh... Like, it's really nice. It's a really nice house. But if it doesn't have the internet, it's not going to matter. Because we couldn't move into it anyway. Kind of. Kind of one of those things. Really important to us. Enchanter's Bundle. Three apples. Oh, let's let's pay this off already. We got a crystallarium. Hello, 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 hello. Very smart. Our parents just went to the biggest they could have, was the biggest they could afford, but we didn't know how to check for potential issues like finding out everything. Everyone's just a temporary cover of problems like the floor, broken plumbing, faulty wiring. That's called how you get a fire on your hands. Windows, broken cabinets. Yeah. Lightning rod. Got a lightning rod. Good. We fixed up a room. Sounds like you need an entire new house. Yeah, that's generally what, what it takes. This house has been for years. The trees moved in and so did we. Two-sixth, or a third of the way done with the game. At least the main part of the game. We're a third of the way done. At least with the main part of the game. Corn or pumpkins? Stupidly risk my savings, it would benefit me too in the end. <laughs> Never put up money without a guarantee that it'll go anywhere. Okay, we got a crystallarium. Thanks, I think. Uh, mining, no tools. Son of a bitch. 
Oh shit, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. <laughs> It was just like, you know what, we're going to start selling all this shit right now. Could have been a really bad thing that just happened there. Let's go to the mines. Let's fertilizer. I do need level 100. You love Dish of the Sea? I am your man. Linus, we cool. We cool, Linus. plant at the moment for a bunch of things that are going on is that it looks like Rosen might be moving in with us within the next few months maybe the next year at the most that looks to be the current plan Rosen lives on the northern side of the country. We live on the southern side of the country. It's a bit of a drive. Rosen's closer to Canada. We're closer to Mexico. State. We live in Texas, the state that'll take away women's rights because it can.
Though, without, like, strictly getting into, like, the politics of things, uh, which, considering what I just said, you already know what my political feel is on everything. Uh, I heard something about a new dude in Texas coming out of the woodworks for trying and trying for some political position. That happens all the time. That's, like, the most unshocking thing you could tell me ever. No, like, the most shocking thing I learned a few weeks ago was that uh, there was a court case, I believe in Massachusetts, about a bar, a church, and the government and like it the the case got all the way up to the supreme court and because of some bullshit it basically came down to that the government of massachusetts was not legally allowed to put certain vigilante powers into the hands of the public specifically when it came to licensing and regulation and that might leg legitimately just be the case that overturns the whole Texas abortion thing. Because of some case in Massachusetts. <laughs> Completely different fucking state. <laughs> Yeah, like, insert random dude trying to, like, get a political position is, like, a pretty standard headline in Texas. It's like, oh yeah, this guy thinks he can do something. Okay, let's see what he can do. So I assume the law recited in said case is federal rather than state law. Anything that is done by the Supreme Court uh, is considered a president lawsuit or a president case. Which means that any lawsuit un after it would basically look to it as guidance. So like, Roe versus Wade was a president lawsuit. It was a landmark lawsuit, technically. If we're going to be real anal about what terms we're using. And it's basically set down the president that we would use for all future cases involving that specific thing. Yeah, so it, set it would set a new president. And so all other, like, laws after the fact would just basically do what it did. Or look to it as guidance to be like, was that constitutional? Was that not constitutional? So, basically, if you manage to say that this... If this case doesn't follow the, the same president that that one does, what was wrong with the first case? Is it because it's not the same, like, circumstances? Well, it kind of is. It's a vigilante case is what it basically boils down to. Well, we had a lawsuit over that. Like, uh, everything with the mandatory vaccine that's coming out. The, the mandated vaccine. It's legal underneath the law. There's a case for it. There's a legal... There's a legal backing to everything that's happening on that front of things. No matter how you feel about the vaccine or not, everything that's going on in the United States involving, like, the government va uh, mandating vaccines, 100% legal. There's not a thing that they are doing that is illegal when it comes to the vaccine. You can feel how you want about it, but there's been a case that went all the way to the Supreme Court about the vaccine, about vaccines in the past. And again, like, not putting my own political sway on things, even though, obviously, you could pretty much figure out what my political sway is there. Which way I vote. Not to mention how old I am. Got a star fruit. Got one star fruit. There's seven of these. Found a star drop. Not star fruit, star drop. It's, but the taste reminds you of friends.
Well, since we're here, let's fish. What have they changed in Te what have they changed in Texas? Okay, so uh so in Texas this came down a while at the beginning of the thing. It's called the Fetal Heartbeat Bill or SB8. Again, not getting into any kind of political sides or whatever. I'm going to say exactly what it did. It it changes from the moment that a expecting mother can be given an ultrasound and the fetus inside her would quote unquote have a heartbeat or have the the electrochemical signals for a heartbeat any abortion that happens after that point would be considered illegal but it doesn't just expand to that it also states that any mother or anybody that helped out in giving that abortion, doctor or otherwise, could be sued, and the person that rats them out could get $10,000 under the law. If you know someone who had an, uh, a, an abortion, that's $10,000 to you. If you know a doctor that helped perform an abortion, that's $10,000 to you. It's basically taking the whole like abortion thing and putting it in other people's hands which can be a really dangerous president to set. Now the problem is, some babies have heartbeats that are like the electrochemical signals hit super early. Some people have chemical heartbeats that beat super late in gestation. But also, like, it's only six weeks. That means that Let's say in the ideal perfect world where a woman had her had her period on a f every single four weeks, once a month, and it was like clockwork, the perfect clockwork, which never happens, almost never happens. So let's say perfect legal world, perfect world we're living in, you have four weeks of person's normal schedule, their normal cycle, of a woman's normal cycle. Week one goes by, week two goes by, week three goes by. She doesn't know she's pregnant. Week four, she's supposed to have her, her period. She doesn't have it. That means she has two weeks to get a, even if she doesn't suspect it, she has two weeks to get a, a appointment set up. Or anywhere in those four weeks. She has like, she has so many weeks to get an appointment set up. I don't know if you've ever tried to set up an appointment in the United States, but it just doesn't happen. And on top of the fact that, like, you can't just call someone up and say, I want to go see the doctor tomorrow. It's like, oh, yeah, we'll see you in, like, two weeks. Or, oh, we'll go see you in, like, a month. Or we'll see you at this point, unless it's something serious. Most doctors will not see you the next day. And even then, it will take time to do all of this stuff after you get to the doctor and then all the other stress that's gonna build up on top of that, it's going to cause problems. It's basically a ban on abortion without the actual saying ban on abortion. And it's gotten to the point that, uh, I think it's the Satanic Temple, I believe it is the Satanic Temple, has basically stated that because their thing is, they're one of their religious tenets of the Satanic Temple, or it's not the Church of Satan, it might be the Satanic Temple, that one of the tenets of their of their religion is my body, my choice. You cannot tell me it's the Satanic Temple. Okay, cool. One of their things is my body, my choice. You cannot tell me what to do with my body. It is my choice. If I want to get a shot, it's my choice. If I want to get an abortion, that's my choice. You cannot stop me. And they're going to fight it on the First Amendment rights. So yeah, the the Church of the Satanic Temple is the thing that's fighting Texas right now. On top of a president lawsuit in the Supreme Court from like 20 years ago. Reminds you of Ireland? But it also got so bad at one point that um, there was a, a whistleblower website set up for you to like give hints or something. 
that you could give like tips to people to point out where like oh yeah by the way blah 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 person did the thing here's all the information of it and they like it was an open website to like throw whatever you wanted into it and it got hacked immediately it got taken down by anonymous it got taken down by a lot of people Because of course it did. Northern Ireland, you can get an abortion prior to 12 weeks, but it's, I remember Northern Ireland making it legal to facilitate abortions after the 12 week period. Yeah, also, if you get caught doing it, you'll get... If you are a doctor who gets caught doing it, you will basically get your license revoked, from what I'm remembering. It's all going through the legal right now, so it's really confusing. To be like, okay, what's what's the rules? So yeah, that's... That's a big old mess that's going on right now. Got a pale ale? It's going to be sunny tomorrow? Yes. The majority of Texans even support this. Here's the fun thing. It doesn't matter if the majority of Texans support it or not. It never mattered if the majority of Texans supported it or not. It wasn't brought up to a vote. It was it was a Senate bill. It should matter if they want re-election, surely. The mass majority of Texas are rural. They are not city-bound. Rural people generally vote Republican. City-bound people and educated people generally vote de Democrat. It only matters if some old men who aren't affected by it decide it does. Yep, that's pretty much true. There was another state that removed, like, everyone on their board for the medical stuff. All of the doctors. So, we fight her. So it never actually mattered.